Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's a professional here today, and today we are purchasing the Chernobog for 2,490,000. A lot of people have told me that this vehicle is bad, but we're going to fully test it, um, and we're just going to determine that right now. Let's take a look at it. Let's see if this vehicle is worth it. So the Chernobog is another Sam they added, and this is the biggest, this is one of the biggest vehicles in the game. This vehicle is just specifically um, used for anti-air. That's basically its own purpose. Um, it can be used as kind of like a battering ram. Like if you hit anything with this car, it'll, it'll explode. But what's really annoying about that is the handling and the braking combined with ramming anything in your way will explode. So that means if you're driving and you're trying to make sharp turns and you accidentally hit like even a parked car or a, park, or a car in the way, it's going to explode. And then after you run over a few cars and they explode, the engine's going to get on fire and the vehicle is going to be useless at that point. So I don't recommend driving this vehicle around. If you're going to want to use this vehicle for anti-air, I just recommend spawning it in a general area and just using it there. Don't drive this vehicle to where the action is at. Go to where the action is at and then spawn this vehicle. So the missiles on this thing are unique. They travel the furthest distance um, before exploding, and they're very accurate. They will almost always destroy their target. So I wanted to show you something crazy. You can actually lock on to other aircraft through buildings if you're at a very far distance with this. As you guys see, my friend is in a helicopter, and I'm locking onto him through the uh, building, and I can actually kill him through the building with this. Note, I am not the one who discovered this. My friend Gillymaster is the one who discovered this. I'm going to put his channel down in the description below if you guys want. He makes a lot of like testing videos, and he does montages against griefers but thank you gilly master for letting us know about this it will destroy um it will go through buildings at very long range but not at close range <clears throat> now moving on to the second test right here I really wanted to know how effective this vehicle was against jets since it's a SAM, it's a surface-to-air missile. It's it, This will shoot down any helicopter easily, even if the helicopter has flares, it'll shoot down most planes easily as well. My question is, how does it handle against jets? So my friend Joe Juni here, she's a very good pilot, and I told her to try her best to try to dodge these missiles, and I'm going to see if I can hit her. These missiles are travel very fast and they're very accurate. They will curve even to hit the target. And if you're locking onto somebody in a jet, they the only way for them to dodge these missiles will be to constantly fly around and fly around in a circle. But you can fire unlimited missiles from this thing. So you can trap them in an endless circle. And the second they get out of that circle, they will blow up. And as you guys see right here, she, she got out of the circle. She was just flying normally, but she didn't have enough time to get away from them. And here's where I'm gonna fire at it and it's gonna destroy her jet right now. Take a look. So these missiles are the most effective against jets from a, a land vehicle. So in this test, I wanted to see if Joe Juni could actually kill me. In the previous test, she was just flying around trying to dodge, but in this one, she's going to try to dodge and kill me. So if you're ever fighting a jet in one of these things, will they be able to kill you? Let's see right now. And Joe Juni does manage to kill me right here, but I also managed to blow her up because of how accurate these missiles are. And here a final test against the Hunter. She tries to flare it right here, but this will shoot down any helicopter. Any helicopter is destroyed by this thing, even the Buzzard, the most agile. Now let's move on to the handling. So when you have the speed upgrade on this thing, it definitely goes faster than in the mission. But the handling is still really bad on this, on this vehicle. And the braking, the braking is probably the worst. This, is, this vehicle probably has the worst braking that I've seen in a vehicle. However, you can easily you can easily ram anything out of your way, and even even if you smash into it, you can blow them up. But eventually, that'll damage your vehicle, though. So you can just keep smashing into people, almost use this thing like a battering ram. However, it's eventually eventually it's going to kill this thing. And it's on fire now. So this thing has almost no braking power. I mean, just look. Look at how bad it is right here. The handling, the handling on turns is the worst. Because, like, when you start making the turn with this vehicle, you can't even control it all the way. That's how bad the turning is. However, however, I've noticed that if you use the handbrake, if you use the handbrake on turns, you it does help a little bit. Let me show you guys right here. Right here, we're going a little faster. Use the handbrake, it'll help a little bit. It'll help on the sharper turns. But even then, the it's still, it's still much worse compared to other vehicles. It's This is probably the worst handling in a vehicle that I've ever seen. And here we have a damage test. It only takes one RPG, which is the most disappointing thing about this vehicle, but it makes no sense in comparison to the heist mission. Let me show you from my previous video right here, guys. So let me show you guys what I was talking about here. This is from the heist prep mission, and I'm driving a Chernobyl, which is not fully upgraded here. One of my friends, who I thought was my friend, started attacking me, and he fired like four to five missiles on the Deluxo, and he, did, he didn't even blow it up. But in free mode, it blows up in one shot. Makes no sense. 
And here we finally have a damage resistance test and explosive sniper, only three shots, nothing special. So here we have the pros and the cons. The pros are this is the best AA vehicle in the game. So in comparison to the gun running SAMs and the APC SAMs, this is definitely the best vehicle in the game to shoot down other air vehicles with. So if you want a vehicle where you can try to fight jets, deal with that, and you want to spawn it on the ground, this is the vehicle for you because you can just spawn it through the mechanic. It has unlimited missiles, so there's no um, there's no amount of missiles that it holds. You can just keep firing over and over again, five missiles at a time, five second cooldown. It has the longest range out of missiles. It can fire very long range. It can fire almost down the size of an airport runway. It has very accurate missiles. The missiles will almost certainly hit the target. Even if it's in a buzzard and they're trying to dodge, they will get hit. It can ram cars easily, blowing them up. Now the cons are it blows up in one RPG. Kind of disappointing in comparison to the um, to the heist prep mission where it took like five, four, five explosions. But here it's only taking one, which makes no sense, and that's upgraded. It has very bad handling, probably the worst handling that I've seen in a vehicle. Uh, you have to activate the stop to shoot feature, and when you activate it, you have to hold right in the D-pad, and then you, your gunner can then fire at that point. And it's kind of annoying you have to stop the vehicle there. Like, I can understand having to stop it, but why do you have to activate the feature, and then you have to unplug it each time and you have to go back in the turret so I would just rather where you you would just have to stop the vehicle in order to use the turret but not where you have to activate the button each time it's kind of annoying uh, it's it's ram can cause it to go on fire so if you're hitting a bunch of cars and they're blowing up and they're going on fire this can destroy your car and especially combine this with the bad handling and you're smashing in the cars blowing them up this vehicle can get destroyed quickly so spawn it where you want to don't spawn it to drive somewhere and the other con is that it's very slow and it cannot hit targets high above it. Um, what I mean by this exactly is that it can hit targets high in the air at a distance, but it can't hit targets right above it. So if, if your target is right above you, like right on top of you and it's really high, you will not be able to hit it with this. You have to you have to fire at this from a distance. So if it's right above you, you won't be able to. If it's, if it's high, but a little bit farther, you will be able to hit it at an angle. But straight up, you will not be able to hit anything. So that's my pros and cons um, for this one, for the, the Cherno. I hope that you guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know down below what you think. Do you agree with my review? Do you like it? Are you going to purchase this? Overall, if you want to, if every single person in the game owned one of these and they could just spawn it from their mechanic, this would um, help kill jet griefing in a way. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you for watching. And also thank you, Gilly Master, for that tip where it can go through buildings at a longer range. I think that that's a glitch personally. I think that it's going to, because the building hasn't rendered all the way, that's probably why it's able to go through it. But I think that, I think that Rockstar might patch an issue like that but I've linked his channel down in the description below. So thank you for that tip. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I will be reviewing the Stromberg next. I expect that review probably tonight. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.